drop some music. tracks today. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another edition of Wednesday Raw Sex Talks with me Benjamin, I hope you're doing fine wherever you are, sorry about the delay, uh. thank you for keeping uh, waiting and welcome here for the next one hour, every Wednesday we have this edition of Raw Sex Talk, tag and share, tag your friend, huh? <laughs> We're going to be talking about the size. I see somebody is asking what size. Of course, the size of the penis or vagina. Size of a microphone or size of a pitch. Uh, it's sex. So don't ask what size. <laughs> you know the size. The size is about the dick or the pussy. That's what we are talking about. <clears throat> As a man... The size, does it matter for you? <laughs> or it doesn't matter as a lady? Does the size matter? For you to join the show, click on the link pinned there on the comment section. If you're so scared to coming live, you can come live. You can use a pseudonym uh, if you're scared to talk about these things. I know still many people are very scared of talking about sex. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you're scared of talking about sex, just watch, follow the discussion on the comments. Married, those in committed relationships, those who have sex, those who don't have sex. And it does the size matter. Let me know where you're watching me from as you share the video. Tag a friend. Share the video. And when you say it matters, explain. <laughs> explain, explain, explain. Yeah. Some of you want to greet me and uh, I want to begin the show by people joining right now. I've received all your greetings. Let's talk about the size. Huh? Greetings, Badai. Tutasalimiana <laughs> Badai. Huh? Where are you tuning in from? Lispo my hi there. Best Fit says yes. Murad Jacqueline. Assume Mosh. Thank you for tagging your friend. Amina, you see your Leah. That's the link for you to join the show. Click on that link there. Uh, using your phone, you only need internet. Come here and say, as a man, size doesn't matter. As a woman, for me, size doesn't matter. And explain in two minutes. Joyce Rua, hello there. Ziara, I see you. Hello there. Kaseri Dayo. Tabitha Son, I see you. All right. Linda Lee, I see you. Dem. Caroline Nsongo, thank you so much for tuning in. Lispa, thank you for tagging your friend. Tag as many friends as you can and share the video. Judy Ogola, I see you, Ziara. 
All right, Linda Lee, thank you for tagging. Jacinta size is about the size of vagina. Or the penis. Yeah. It is Wednesday raw sex talk. <laughs> so don't ask what size. Yeah. It's strictly the size of your private part. Jacinta Christabel Birunji, hello there, Tabitha Son. Thank you for watching. Did night I see you, Matara? Mamake Wili, Mapesa de Emmy. Okay. Felix Otieno, thank you, Dorka Nyaboke. Thank you, Nabuina Shivan. And all of you are just tuning in right here. Thank you so much for joining right now. If you want to join, uh, please click on the link pinned there on the comment section. Come here and give your opinions if the size matters or it doesn't matter. If you're scared to come to the screen, put your opinion on the comments. If we have time, we will read it. But unfortunately, if the time is not enough because the show is only one hour, we may not read it. Make your opinion as brief as you can. Why does the size matter to you? Or why does the size doesn't matter to you as a man or as a woman? Uh, Mama George, in a tegemea na kila mtu. Kama umezoea shuma ya doshi. Okay. Uwe jiongele. Jiongelele. Usiseme kuhusu ingine. Hmm? For me, it matters, Karo Kenya. I see somebody is in the studio. Um, glad is a blessing. Mr. Lemeka flows the best tea. It doesn't matter. Kuna yonye wako na kubwa na hawajui kutumia. Okay, there are people who have big dicks. Big penises. And they don't know how to use it. Ladies, do you agree with that? <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Let me talk to this uh, guest in the studio. Ademun Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Tracks today. Yes, yes, can you hear me? Yes, good evening. Good evening to you too. Welcome to this uh, talk show. Thank you very much. Thank you for, for joining us. Have you seen the topic? Yes. For me on my yes. side, uh -huh. size, size matters a lot. Size matters a lot. Well, what do you mean? Okay. Uh, on my side, for me, I consider the size because mm -hmm. I can't, yeah, I can't be like being with someone who has a smaller thing which can't satisfy. Eh? Because you know, you mean like a, a person who has a small dick? Yes, a smaller one. As yeah. you know, mm -hmm. men have different, yeah, they have different sizes of those things. Or, Mm -hmm. Of penises, whereby they are those ones with big and they are those ones with what? With the small. With small and ones. remember, even us, yeah, even us mm -hmm. ladies, we are not all that the same. We are not all that the same. Mm -hmm. Whereby there are other ladies who have got over mm -hmm. large ones. I don't know how they call it. Eh? Yeah, whereby it's a large, it's a large penis. vagina. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Where were the smaller one? The smaller one has yeah. to go to with the smaller watch with the smaller vagina. Yes. And the large one has to go with the what with the big one. So that uh -huh. the satisfaction or the desires can be fulfilled. Eh? Mm -hmm. So that someone can get satisfaction. Because once you yes. go with that one with a smaller size, you won't not enjoy anything. But if you have mm -hmm. gone with your size, there now you will really enjoy the things. You get it. Have you ever have you ever have you ever met a man with a small size? Me personally I have never never. Ah, I have ever ah, met with yes. the one which is of my my size, the one which I can mm. really feel it. That yes. means that at least you have to look for for something which is or which can enable you to enjoy. Mm -hmm. You get it. Yeah, not like I'm trying to get it, but uh, I'm not getting it very well. So you mean like, uh, uh, how can you know that a man has a bigger size? Let me ask the viewers, Ademun, can you tell that a man has a bigger size without even uh, <laughs> sleeping with him? Is it possible? Yeah, sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, you can just look at the appearance of someone. Eh? You can uh -huh. what look do you like. Mean? It. It can show up. Me, I can mm -hmm. see just the appearance of someone and, and I can detect even the type of 
the type of the penis someone is happy you get it what what, what do like you look at do you like like what do you look at <laughs> you look at his height or fingers or yeah. <laughs> ladies the viewers how do you know that this man has a very small dick or this man has a big dick eh? let me let me see on the comments as i'm asking this lady so uh, appearance by appearance what do you mean uh, deborah huh i can't hear you very well can you check your microphone again I'm saying, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. taking me from there. Yeah. yeah. You can just look at someone, and you can just see. You can mm -hmm. just see psychology, so you can you can <laughs> just understand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can understand that. This, <laughs> this I don't know about. <laughs> I don't know if men can tell that this lady has a very <laughs> big vagina, or large vagina, <laughs> or a small one. Men, the men who are watching here. What what That's body funny. parts can you look at a lady and you know that this one uh -huh, this one is so so large and this one is so so small I don't know I don't know That's why we are doing this talk So Deborah Yes For you the size really matters eh The bigger the size the better eh? Yes yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah Can you check check your earphone again one more time Your volume is going down I'm saying, yeah. Getting yeah. yeah, I'm getting you from here. Okay. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. I can't hear you very well. <laughs> I need to Google that. <laughs> which which body parts can help you to tell the size of someone's size? <laughs> but thank you so much, Deborah. Eh? Uh, so, ladies, you want to tell me that a shorter man who is uh, two in, two feet <laughs> has a very small dick? Is that what you're trying to tell us? I see Tengani in the studio. I'm going to connect you shortly. Just stay there. Uh, let me just Google here quickly which body parts, which body parts can uh, tell you the size, the size of. Um, the size of what of private parts i want to know today we <laughs> today you want to know <laughs> eh? if you look at a man some of you are saying the fingers <laughs> i know men say when you look at the lips of a woman so when a lady has <laughs> bigger lips what does it mean and a lady with very tiny lips what does it mean eh? <laughs> What does it mean? Those ladies who have very tiny lips. <laughs> huh? Tengani finger. The only What's finger that I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bro? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Welcome to the hey, show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me again, as you always do every Wednesday. Welcome. Yes, and, bro. Uh, and actually, so I, uh, yeah. yeah, I missed the last Wednesday. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's okay, but welcome today. So we are talking about the size. That the size really matter, Tengani. Tengani. Size uh, of vagina. Mm, oh, don't, basically, don't start advising people. Don't start advising. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the thing is, the, the thing is, yes, yes, the, the size. Much of them, they, I think, ladies, they can say bad about it. But what mm -hmm. I know is, is that uh, most of the ladies they say about it, but they usually say it's not about the size; it's about mm -hmm. how you do it. So basically, Those are the now that's you what as Tingani, as a yeah. man. Uh, when you meet a woman and you are having sex with her, uh, does the size uh, matter to you? No, no, no. The size, the size of the vagina. No, no, because like the size mm -hmm. of the vagina is all all the time. It's the same. It's, you know what I mean? It's an elastic yeah. thing. So that yeah. size goes with you. I mean, how big you are. So mm -hmm. basically, the only difference that we I I noticed I noticed mm -hmm. that we African guys why we say that oh this girl I mean it's so big. I just go yes. like, you know, it's not that. <laughs> I just dive in, I just swim in. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not that. It's about, yes. because most back home, we used to yes. do the girls when they are not ready. So when they are not ready, they haven't yes. released the fluid. So when you put it, you feel like it's tight, but they are feeling pain. 
it's not ah, it's not ah. there it's not like uh, they are if they're not lady i mean yeah there's no that fluid so when you're putting it you feel like it's tight mm. and they start feeling ah. pain but because back home women cannot tell you they, they, and that's you when, know? When, they, when when those ladies tell you stop then that's when you add more energy you add you more add energy pain. yeah yes. and then you add the pain and then because yes. they are because the way we are the women are yes. women we're not able to say it. but mm -hmm. when you have got some women that they are flexible and you start mm -hmm. touching them i mean they have released the fluid and then you just go be just like you know what you're there you know? <laughs> <laughs> so you mean all the ladies their vagina sizes are the same yeah i i believe mm -hmm. that it's yeah. just that it, yeah. it depends. Some they can, you know, some they are very sensitive. They release a lot of fluid. Some they mm -hmm. don't release a lot of fluid. So those mm -hmm. that release a lot of fluid, when you are putting it, it just go like, mm -hmm. you know, it just goes yes. smooth. When they release a little bit fluid, it becomes a little bit hard. And then it's yeah. your mind. You start feeling uh -huh. like, oh, it's tight. It's tight, you know. Uh -huh. But that space, I don't yes. think it's elastic. It goes like that. According How about to... a younger, a younger lady, a, a, a lady who is twenty and a lady who is forty? Okay, now yeah. when you're wearing uh, like a pants, like sweat pants, yes. right? Yes. yes. Uh, usually, the new one it will be a little bit tight, but eventually uh -huh. it will become, yes. you know. <laughs> so the one who is forty might be, yes. you know, you know, they do it frequent. So the moment uh -huh. they do it, the frequent, the elastic start losing the. You, you know the the strength right it's like when pulling everything the grip, every time the grip. yeah the, the grip, grip. Yeah, the grip. Yeah. yeah yeah it's not mm -hmm. losing that so because yeah. like the young women they're staying with their parents they don't come to your house every day so you can mm -hmm. have them but it's not usually like how we do with our women like the ones that they're older that you marry them we stay with yeah. them and then some they have good kids you know that's the mm -hmm. same path that the kids come from so that really matters but I mean, it's all the same. Likely, it's more, not necessarily that it, it can be. You can feel that it's, this is wow. too big. Yeah. So these men, these men who go for younger girls, uh, is it true that uh, it's because their women's vaginas have become uh, wider? Ah, uh, it's sex is all about mind. So I always say in the mind. It, it's yeah. in the mind. The moment you mm -hmm. start thinking like, oh, I mean, that thing is big. Yeah, it becomes mm -hmm. big. But yeah. the moment you say, oh, that thing, and that's why I say, if you see a woman, it's like, saying, oh, that thing is sweet. That mm -hmm. thing is nice. So you usually yeah. go for that. You know, yes. so you, you can maintain that. So that's what I usually say. For the people that they are married, you need to mm -hmm. feel that. You need to, to develop that in your mind. That that's the mm -hmm. best, that's the best ever pussy yes. you have in yes. your life. <laughs> so you go for that. <laughs> Don't go outside there looking for another pussy and say yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, and the, now the in our days, I, yeah. I've seen in our days the there's some soaps that women are using, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, there's some soaps that they, they can use, and then at least they said the elastic started coming back. I don't even believe it, but I just uh, see the soaps. I'm going to so ask the ladies. Uh, the next question I will ask the ladies is how to tighten the vagina. What yeah. can you do to make it tight? The ladies there's can talk soaps. about it. Yeah, yeah, there are some, I would, there are some uh, exercises. I'm gonna ask them. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna ask but, them later on. Don't don't talk should, on their behalf. <laughs> but they, for the they, men, they should for make you, sure as that Tengani, for you as Tengani, should, you say sex is in the mind. All vaginas are the same size; they become elastic and uh, wider with the age. <laughs> is that what you said? Hello, somebody's calling Hello? him. Yeah. Ali, oh, can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. It's all the same, yeah. Yeah. But it's about the mind that how we put it. And then because, like, we used to do mm -hmm. the ladies when they're not ladies. That's why we are feeling that it's tight. But it's yeah. not tight because you're doing, you're forcing it. Yeah, okay. Uh, make it. Thank let, you so much. <laughs> let, let, it, let, let it bring that fluid. Let it bring that yes. fluid, man. <laughs> let the vagina get wet yeah. before you penetrate, huh? Yeah, like. <laughs> Yeah, before you do it, man, let her get ready. And then when you do the job, it will be much easier for you. Oh, okay. It's it dry, Thank man, so and she'll be pushing you back. Thank okay, you have a nice time, Thank bro. I'll be watching. Have a nice time, bro. Thank Later, you, too. man. <laughs> ah, Tengani Finger there saying that we used to have sex with ladies when we were young. And because the vagina was always dry, we thought it was so tight. <laughs>
Huh? But now when they are so wet and ready to have sex, then you think they are not tight. I don't know what you think. If you want to join this discussion right now, the show is only one hour, 40 minutes to go. Click on the link pinned there on the comment section with my name, Benjamin. Remember, the show is every Wednesday. Wednesday, raw sex talk with me, Benjamin. If you're watching for the first time, let me know in the comment section. You can like and follow this page so that you don't miss next Wednesday. If you miss the last Wednesday's shows, go to my YouTube channel with the name Benjamin J.R. Bogonko and you will watch the repeat. We are talking about the size. Does the size of the penis matter or the size of the vagina matter during sex? What do you think? What is your story? What is your experience? Let me talk to the first lady in the studio there, Val's Bill. Yes, Val's Bill. How are you today, Val's? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Welcome to this show. Thank you. Thank you so much for finding time to join me. I like your red uh, top. Thank you. Good. Have I you seen the topic? The first time to... Yeah, I've yeah, seen, seen the topic. Yeah. Seen the topic but is about size. You... Yeah. Yeah. Let mm -hmm. me ask you one thing, Benjamin. Yes. Do you know what makes marriage strong? Yes. I don't know. Tell tell me, tell, tell the viewers. Do you know what makes marriage? Of course, it is sex. Sex makes marriage um, strong. If you cannot satisfy your woman, mm -hmm. of course. That oh. is the first thing. Oh. Um, married people, according to woman, <laughs> married people, according to the guest today, Val's Bill is saying what makes a marriage strong is a sex. Any married person, do you confirm that? Do you agree? Just say there, I agree with the with the vals or I dislike married people. Does the sex make your marriage stronger or it doesn't? Okay, vals. Please keep keep talking. Yes. Mm -hmm. So does the size matter? Yeah, I was trying to say the size matters, of course. Um mm. this is the sometimes if the if the man has the small stuff, small dick, we, where by stuff, the, small penis, <laughs> whatever it is, but me, I don't want to say it anyway. Um, okay, small microphone. The, if the man has a small microphone, automatically the woman will not be with you. You will find that the woman will cheat on you. You will find mm -hmm. another man who will satisfy him because you are not oh. enough for her. My goodness. So the married men who has small sizes, their wives will cheat on them? Automatically. They look oh, for another God. person, another man who will satisfy her. When men who are watching, uh, the men who are listening to you, you are breaking their hearts. Huh? They should find out the solution for that. Ah. But if you really cannot satisfy your woman? Yes. Even Another man will her... satisfy your woman. Of course, automatically. <clears throat> even though you give her everything, even though you, even though you give her V8, you give her yes. mansion, but mm -hmm. when it reaches to yeah, bed issues, whereby you cannot satisfy her. Mm -hmm. Your you 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 stuff is small. Man. Your microphone is too small for her. The same to women, if you cannot yeah, make your husband mm -hmm. happy in the bed, automatically mm -hmm. you go for another woman. More special when you are dirty. The, you know, no, no, down no, no, there no, no. maybe. We are talking about the size. Male. Size. Size valves. Focus on the size. Only the size? Only size. The size? Yes. Okay, but I think women have no problem with size. Right? The I problem is talk. for men. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the problem is on men only. You understand? <clears throat> yes, hey. hey, it's on men only. There is no woman who's small, there is no woman who's big. No, no, all of them they are mm -hmm. the same size. Yes, let me ask the men. The men who are watching, <laughs> there is a man in the hey, studio hey, here. Okay. One bit, Roger, switch off the TV or the radio. <laughs> the men who are watching, do you agree <laughs> that <laughs> there is no woman with a big vagina and a small vagina? All of them are the same. Men comment there as uh, Vals is talking here. So, Vals, 
Yes. The problem is with the men. Automatically. <clears throat> mm. So, the smaller the size, <laughs> then the... The, the smaller the size? <laughs> then the, the woman the will be cheating on him. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Even though you give her everything, even though you give money, her money, V8, you V9, V7, if you have a small dick, the woman you will cannot cheat you. Do this. Yes, this is where <laughs> you'll find that um, maybe if you have like four kids, five kids, three will mm -hmm. be for you, maybe two will not be for you. Mm -hmm. You know that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Me up ever I since this this in Uganda. I'm from Uganda, brother. You're from Uganda. Ah, Ugandans love these topics. Uh, what me Rogers? <laughs> Rogers. <laughs> yes, please. Can you hear me? I'm in Abu Dhabi. You are in Abu Dhabi. Okay, thank yeah. you so much. Let me talk to this gentleman here. Wambi Rogers. Yes, Benga. How are you today? I'm okay. How is the day? I'm good. Welcome to the show. Do you agree with what Vals is saying that uh, women's vaginas, all of them, the size is the same? Uh, actually, um, I can agree with her. It matters. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It matters a lot, actually. Thank you. In fact, uh, Thank you. it matters a lot. The size matters. No, no, my question is, do you agree that their sizes are the same? There is a woman, uh, there is no woman with a wider vagina or a smaller vagina. All of them, they are the same? No, they are not the same. Uh, actually, they are not the same, <laughs> yeah. They are not the same. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh -huh. What do you it's mean? Been, yeah, like, uh, like what I can say is, eh, uh -huh. the some ladies, I think, like, those who have actually been trained on how to handle on how to handle a man and probably I think that one also it matters a lot. Eh? A woman who does not know how to hold either the smallness or bigness of how the woman is, it matters mm -hmm. also. Yes. So it's not true that all ladies have the same size. No, it's not true. It's not true. It depends on, of course, uh, like mm -hmm. sometimes some, in most cases, ladies lack uh, mm -hmm. the, the, whatever the traditional, the traditional mm -hmm. teaching. Like mm -hmm. you, a woman is supposed to, to be taught on how mm -hmm. to hold mm -hmm. and adjust depending on the size. Mm -hmm. Depending on the size of the man that is holding, I think that one, that's what I know. Okay, wow. Anyway, according to you, Wambi Rogers, does the size matter for you for a woman's vagina? Does it matter or it doesn't matter? It matters. It matters, it matters eh? What do you mean? It matters a lot as in um, really someone with like a small, mm -hmm. with like a thing really, it really bores a lot. With a small what? The man with a small, with this, I don't want to mention it by name. <laughs> the man or the woman? A man. No, you are talking man about women. Small thing, really, <laughs> no, you're talking about women. A woman who has a, you for you, you said the size. I'm asking you the size of a woman's vagina. Does it matter to you? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Ah, uh, it, doesn't only, matter it, eh? doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Ah, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. I was wondering, you were saying the size of a man matters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Wambi Rogers. <laughs> DV, DV, can you yes, unmute your microphone there? Mm, I can Hello hear there. You. Can, can, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, welcome to the show. 
Thank you. Yes, does the size matter according to you, a size of a man's uh, dick? According to me, I can say the size doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Because number one, we have to appreciate mm -hmm. the fact that there are men who are born big and there are mm -hmm. those who are born small. Mm -hmm. And both of them have a right to enjoy sex. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. I would like to say that uh, size doesn't really matter because I believe sex is in the mind. You mm -hmm. can have a big one, but you don't really know how to use it. Mm -hmm. You can have a small one and use it the right way. This is a, a, a man. Yeah. A man can yeah, a man can have a small one but use it very well. Yeah, I'm talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he, he he might have a small one, but uh, mm -hmm. not exactly how to handle a woman. Mm -hmm. how to go about the whole process. Someone mm -hmm. else can have a big one, but uh, be poor in uh, the approach and how he does it from the beginning to the end. And mm -hmm. he, he might just end up annoying the woman. So according to me, size doesn't really matter. Sex is okay. in the mind. If you feel mm -hmm. someone, if you love them, you can always enjoy, regardless of the size. Okay, wow. Yeah. Thank you so much, Divi. <laughs> but what if the man has a very big size and pains you and uh, <laughs> makes you to have a very painful sex? Don't you think it matters? <laughs> eh? Yeah. So yeah, ladies, ladies like who are watching, if you now, find a man with a very big penis a man having and he's a... so rough in bed, don't you think the size also matters in that in that in that direction? Um, From that aspect, mm -hmm. yes, it does really matter. Mm -hmm. So according to me, I can say mm -hmm. as a man, if you know your, your dick is big, mm -hmm. number one, just know the limits. Mm -hmm. Just know how far or how deep you can go. Mm -hmm. Make sure you are gently in a way mm -hmm. and don't end up hurting your partner. So that's Good. what I can say. And uh, <clears throat> free sex should be key because if you do good preparations mm -hmm. then the lady won't be hurt at the end of it all right thank you so much Divi. yeah thank you so much that's what i can say for now thank you thank you thank you for your contribution today thank you you're welcome all right wow <laughs> i don't know the question that i'm asking here ladies do you think the size of the vagina is the same for all ladies? I can see very mixed uh, reactions there on the comment section. Ladies, uh, I'm going to be reading your comments really quickly right now. If you want to join the show, click on the link in there on the comment section. Remember, this is a Wednesday raw sex talk with me, Benjamin. If you're watching for the first time, like and follow the page so that you can always be watching other videos and other live streams. And uh, tag your friends right now. Continue sharing the video. Let me read your comments quickly as I bring other guests in the studio. I see Jackie is moving up and down. Please be seated. Lit chick, I can see you. Somebody called Paul. Get ready. I'm coming to you guys. Let me read some comments here which were making me to giggle. <laughs> Nicole Wamboy says, so long as you know how to drive it, huh? It doesn't really matter. So long as you know how to drive it. Drive what? What do you mean by driving? Okay. Let me see another comment here. Uh, <laughs> Duke Nyachai, Benjamin, di dick size doesn't matter. It depends on how a man always plays the game. Pussies can never be the same size. The more different dick sizes entering the woman, the more loose and hollow <laughs> that pussy becomes. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, you can see what men are saying. Now you know. <laughs> Those are the comments by men. Eh? The more dicks you have entered or have entered you the more it becomes a holo ah that word holo is so painful eh? lilo says uh we all create different same men some are big short tall etc okay answer the question does it matter focus on the topic the topic is about do we have bigger and smaller dicks 
or bigger and smaller vaginas it's about what does the size matter Eunice Karuri no it doesn't as long as you know how to use your thing okay <laughs> all right let me see uh, another comment here uh, quickly 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 uh, Maguma Alex it's not true vagina sizes are not the same okay okay uh, somebody's still asking um, Nicole one boy no woman is doesn't have same vaginal okay these are the ladies who are saying uh, Peter Mayo when they have kids that most men who are married cheat with young women Shimolatewa, if you didn't know Shimolatewa, it's a very big hole. It's a very, very big hole. Extremely big hole. Mm. <laughs> Men with your comments. <laughs> Grace Olukor, the size matters very well. Men with big dicks, me. No, 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 no. I tried one time and I took three days without hearing. Okay, all right. SCCV size might be small but in very awesome than a plantain that can't last a second. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to the guest in the studio. You can see the comments there. I didn't say that. People are commenting there. Does the size really matter? Jackie. Hello there, Jackie. I can't hear you. I need, I need to see you. The guests who are in the studio to be seated somewhere. I need to see your face. Um, Bobby Cathy say the size of vagina is not the same. Uh, no nigadoni, no big or small pussy. This thing is elastic. Okay. All right. Gucci says, uh, dated some Kenyan lady, but she was a huge. I almost forced my head to enter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. The comments, uh, the comments people are putting here. Okay. Um, let me see one more comment here before we go to the studio. Um, Christian Namulu. Is this uh, Shireni Namulu? The size of Diko Pussy doesn't matter. What matters here is how you get prepared, Benjamin. Get ready for sex. You can have a big dick, but you do nothing. Okay? Uh, Solis Heski, big pen doesn't mean you are intelligent in the class. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh aponiki bibisha size doesn't matter how to use it too is what matters one can be huge and not know how to use it what he has while another one can be small but knows where to hit exactly all right okay so far so good i really don't know if size matters by the end of this discussion i really don't know if the size really matters uh, uh, let me talk to these ladies in the studio. Catherine, I'm going to be telling you the biggest sizes in, the, in Africa. The biggest sizes of dicks in Africa shortly. So stay here, ladies. You need to listen to that and also the men. And I'll be telling you <laughs> the smallest vaginas in the world. <laughs> so stay here <laughs> to check if your country is in the top 10 or is down there below <laughs> stay here keep sharing the video i'm gonna be shocking you uh, right away in a few minutes before we finish the show the list with the men who are blessed and the ladies who are blessed in the world i'm gonna be reading for you that list according to a research and survey done shortly catherine the guests in the studio the internet is not so good. Let me talk to this one. Chinese chance by in a Gmail. All of you in the studio, you're using free Wi-Fi. It's not working. Huh? It's not working. Hmm? Guess in the studio, tell them to stop using free Wi-Fi in these topics. Um, hmm? I'm going to be telling you the, the, the list, <laughs> the men who are blessed so that you know, <laughs> uh, if you're looking for a size, you know where to go to. <laughs> Catherine Ochola. I'm good. How are you? 
fine welcome to the show okay i wanted to talk about the uh, yeah size mm-hmm. does size the size matter the size of the the man the size of the man mm-hmm. actually i don't think but it does matter if it matters because mm-hmm. first of all say ladies they like talking about big big how we call it <laughs> men with that big big thing big dick just like say big big microphone big, eh okay. <laughs> they like talking about big microphone mm-hmm. you know at times you can meet men without big that big microphone and once mm-hmm. you you go with him mm-hmm. the way he will treat you i mean the way he will start the mm-hmm. game and the way mm-hmm. you will end you will end it mm-hmm. will end in because you might meet a man who is so much rough he doesn't mm-hmm. know how to handle a lady and the microphone mm-hmm. is too big mm-hmm. imagine it will all end in tears mm-hmm. so i think uh, it's just about how a mm-hmm. man knows how to handle a lady on this he might have yep. a, a a big dick more than your vagina but mm-hmm. the way he will handle you you will feel mm-hmm. everything going on smoothly you mm-hmm. not even feel the big size of it yeah and sometimes you might find uh, meet a, a man with a small small mm-hmm. and the way he will handle uh, handle it and uh, i mean how he will handle you you will feel mm-hmm. it's okay you'll not even feel the size you saw before you started doing anything Yeah. Yeah. And how if, if the man doesn't know how to do to handle you, you'll just mm-hmm. feel like you wasted you wasted yourself like he doesn't know how to handle him. Yes. <laughs> so Okay. The size, so, I, so the size again, of the I man doesn't to, really matter. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And again I wanted to make a correct okay, I'm a lady, but I wanted mm-hmm. to talk this one on behalf of other men. Mm-hmm. They, uh, they think that uh, the vagina okay they always say that a lady who has given birth they have mm-hmm. a big vagina yeah on which i will say it's no mm-hmm. when you are having a small vagina before you give birth mm-hmm. after you give birth we, when mm-hmm. time goes it will close mm-hmm. up and it will come back in the position where it was the way it was before mm-hmm. There's no change. There's no change. Mm-hmm. Whether you mm-hmm. give birth or don't give birth, the vagina will be your vagina. Mm-hmm. The size will never change. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> it, it depends with how the man uses the, 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 the thing. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you the list of... <laughs> the men who are blessed in the world eh? can let me ask you the viewers as you keep on watching uh, who do you think which country is blessed in the world number one, top with the largest uh, penis size in the world average size number one, can you tell me number one, the first country according to a survey that was done in different countries tell me the top 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 one the top one the top one Top one, so that the ladies who are always interested in the size, <laughs> you know that uh, what you're looking for. Number one, which country for the men have the largest dicks in the world? As I talk to Duke Malaika, I see you in the studio. I'm going to be coming to you shortly. Um, Duke, hello there, Duke. Hello there, Benjamin. How are you today? I'm good. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. What an yes. interesting topic you have there today. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, it's a Wednesday raw sex talk so we have to make it very interesting for both men and women to talk. But thank you yeah, so much sure. for that. Yeah, joining me. Thank you so much. What do you think? Does the size of a woman's yeah. vagina matter to you? Well, uh, speaking of a size because uh, mm-hmm. like uh, the, 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 the lady who just left uh, just told you. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
after you give birth, after a lady gives birth, uh, the vagina might actually become a bit close, but uh, with the time, it will actually come back to the, its original uh, size. That's yes. Only him, only him, this lady, mm-hmm. his uh, sexual life, his ways mm-hmm. of the, 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 the behaviors uh, uh, in uh, sexual li- her sexual life was, uh, mm-hmm. she never used to have a lot of uh, men. Mm-hmm. Or she, she doesn't allow a lot of men to to, to, mm-hmm. to access access her, her mm-hmm. Only mm-hmm. only when and only and only if uh, he maintained a very good sexual life. Mm-hmm. But if she allows every every man that comes her way into her pussy, definitely, uh, Mr. Ben, uh, mm-hmm. that one trust me not. She'll never have that uh, original pussy. You mean the vagina will become uh, wider and wider? Definitely, it will. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, well, the question and, uh, is for you. For you, Duke, does it matter? Yes. So does it matter when you well, have a woman uh, in your life? Well, uh, you're asking if, uh, if, if it matters to me if my woman has a, a deeper or a big deeper pussy or what? Or uh, yeah, a, yeah a, wider, a wider vagina, yeah. Well, <laughs> I won't talk about that. Yeah. I have a, I, I, I have a woman. I have a woman. Uh-huh. Okay. You I'm might okay. offend I'm her. I'm okay. <laughs> yes. I'm okay. Yeah. With the way she is. Okay. But I'll just talk because she knows. I'll, I'll say this to the ladies out there or to the yes. guys out there. Uh-huh. Not so many guys approve dating ladies who have a uh, 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 big or uh, deep vagina so who have uh, kind of hollow. Mm-hmm. Not mm-hmm. many men would approve that. I'm telling you, and I'm talking on behalf of so many men here. So the men don't enjoy that, when the vagina is so wide. Most men don't enjoy that. The very first time you hit and you feel it's hollow, yeah. that's when you run away. The next time you <laughs> don't even want to have her. <laughs> you don't even want to see her. The next time you you meet her, you don't even want to. Yeah. Run in, beat around the bush. You don't even want. To. <laughs> But the uh-huh. moment you meet the lady and, uh, and, and, and trust me, you, you know the feeling. If you're enjoying, uh, if you've had a lady, mm-hmm. let's say uh, you, you, you've... Uh, so the size, the, the size matters to men. Size is very important. The size of the vagina to most men is very important. Very important. Very mm-hmm. important. Men are so choosy. Mm-hmm. That's why you always, go, you, always, you, you always feel, uh, you always see guys talk, talking about... Uh, how lucky they are if they, they, they dated or in the marriage to people uh, who are uh, budget. Mm-hmm. You, you value that a lot. So whenever mm-hmm. you see that, uh, you can, whenever guys hang around, mm-hmm. you, you, you'd hear them speak that at least my lady, she kind of has a, 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 that's like almost the same as a budget. Mm-hmm. A budget. Yeah. But, 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 uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> the deeper and the whole ones, trust me, yeah. Trust me, I cannot buy that. No man yes. can, can buy that. Yes. Your woman is watching, but, uh, so be very careful about your words. Eh? It's good. I'm trying. I'm, I'm only trying to, uh, to, to talk. Yeah. You're saying the truth. Man. Yes, I'm saying the truth. She understands. She, when she, she's watching, she is. I'm mm-hmm. sure she'll not be offended. She'll never mm-hmm. be offended. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, Let's wind up. Yeah, wind up. We're winding up. So the size okay, matters. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only mm-hmm. difference is uh, with men. I mean, uh, okay. the, 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 the size, the size of uh, the dick of the man mm-hmm. is not that uh, important. Even ladies will ask, I will tell, I testify. Yes. No lady would would, would, would prefer dating a guy with a very huge dick. Uh, mm-hmm. Trust me. As long as a big dick is also not so good, eh? Yeah, you can get the lady gives you, and you play the game well. You, 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 you get to her, his spot. You, okay, you, you, okay. You make sure, she, <laughs> yeah, you All make right. sure that she, you don't, yeah. Trust thank me, you so you much, you. Yeah. Okay, I'm thank so you, happy you. That you today. I'm, I'm so happy. Thank you. I'm happy to see you too. See you thank around. you so much for joining me. Right. All the best. I hope oh. your woman will not be offended with your words. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, she, be happy, at least I, I gave some advice. Uh, I talked on the beyond. Okay. So many guys Thank you. Down. Thank you, Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Duke. Enjoy the show. <laughs> yeah.
All right. Ah, Duke there is very careful with his words. Eh? He says, the more a woman sleeps with many dicks, the more you become hollow. As I promise you, I'm going to be telling you the biggest and the largest penises in the world. The first country is Ghana. Ghana. Ghana, 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 Ghana. Ladies, if you find a Ghanaian man talking to you, you should be smiling. Ghana is number one and number two is Gabon. Gabon, Ghana and Gabon. Hmm? Those men in those two countries, according to scientific research, most of them are blessed. If you find a Ghanaian man talking to you, you should, uh, <laughs> you should start listening and paying attention what he's telling you. Ghanaian and Gabon. If I have a Ghanaian man who is watching, comment there if you agree. If you're from Gabon and you're watching this show, do you agree? Let me know in the comments. I have Malaika here in the studio. Malaika. Hello. Hello there. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. And you? I'm okay too. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, my pleasure <laughs> as well. <laughs> Good. Uh, I'm happy to see you today. As you told me earlier on, you wanted to join this discussion. So thank you for finding time to join. Yes. Yes, we are talking about the size, the size of the penis and the vagina, if it matters. According to you, does the size of the penis of a man matter? Um, as, according to everyone, I can say that as bigger the distance is, as mm -hmm. more it matters. This is my first um, thing what I think about. And what mm -hmm. really matters to me um, is the length and not the wideness because um, there is something what's called, um, it's, it's, a, it's a bit difficult to explain, but something what's called squared vagina. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you have a square in the end and mm -hmm. the top doesn't fit in, um, mm -hmm. It wouldn't work, but a lot mm -hmm. of people don't know because sometimes they have a longer size and they're like, oh, I don't know. Once it worked out and this time it hurts me. So it has to mm -hmm. do about the end of the length and not of the wideness. You As, mean the, the, the length of the, 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 the penis, the length of yes. a dick of a man? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's more important than, uh, the, than what? Than the, 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 the thickness? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So there are men who have longer length. Uh, the length is longer, and uh, there are men who have shorter length. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, of course, yeah. That, not yeah. all of us, we have the same length. But uh, exactly. so to you as Malaika, does the length matter to you? Um, I think I wouldn't be <laughs> the person to answer that question on, on this, uh, because on the this topic, platform. <laughs> you, you can see the topic here as a man or as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Does the size really matter when you're having sex? If it's too As long, I said, if, if the length is too long, it can be painful or yes. it, you cannot enjoy. Yes. Mm -hmm. If the length is too short, what what then, does it mean? Then it's the dis the difference is too big, so it's yeah. also not going. As the other ladies or the guys are saying, um, mm -hmm. this is the time when you have even. The chance about keeping this thing strong is only love and trueness, mm -hmm. but it's very rarely to find. Or instead, um, an agreement that um, you're having sex maybe with others or special agreements, which mm -hmm. maybe would work to make this happiness work. Mm -hmm. Because um, love is not buyable. You cannot buy love mm -hmm. at the end of the day. That's what okay. I think. But for this topic, we are talking about the size. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, the, I asked a question when I started the show. Mm -hmm. Can you tell that this man has a long length or a short length by looking at him? Some say if they look at the finger, if you look at my fingers, ah, oh, then you will know this my one, size. No. Is it no. possible? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I don't know, but I would say no. 
Yeah. Because some, you can meet really shorter sp- people and have big surprises. You can meet yeah. tall giants and uh you And you have a shocked. very short and a very yes. very small size dick. So yeah, a, yeah, a big mm-hmm. advice I can give out to the women out there. Mm-hmm. Um you have to test it out touch and look what you get don't yeah. just rush in um <laughs> it's something what i also have to experience or like practice more but uh mm-hmm. it is worthy in the end of the day you cannot fall in love in something mm-hmm. or yeah <laughs> only fools rush in that's how a song goes mm-hmm. so it's but... it's not possible it's not possible to look at somebody and just say that uh, he has a bigger size or a small size it's not possible you must see the, the the dick by your eyes to prove it yes and you have to try it out maybe uh, yeah. the first round is not countable go mm-hmm. when you really like a person you need maybe three, four, five, ten 10 rounds to experience and see yeah. if it works or not <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's all what I can say. <laughs> one more <laughs> one more last question before I let you go. The I was talking about the biggest sizes according to some scientific research and they are saying the top 5 countries number 1 is Ghana, number 2 is Gabon and number 3 is Jamaica. Uh, do do you do you believe that uh, men from the African race have the biggest size in the world? <sighs> I don't know but yeah. I just from I the myths say, the myths and the stories you hear is it true that men from Africa they have the biggest size I, I would say yes mm-hmm. Yeah this research which is okay okay of course I okay I will not ask you that one <laughs> <laughs> Thank you <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. And uh, the ladies who are saying that the vagina size some who are saying that uh, the sizes are the same for all ladies. Others say that the sizes are not the same. I don't know what is your opinion. Is it true that ladies have the same size or they have also different sizes like men? I would say um the sizes are different because Mm-hmm. everybody is built differently mm-hmm. but um a woman can control herself and fit her size on mm-hmm. on the other partner when she wants has uh, also during, to do with practice like yeah during the sex time yes okay good thank you so much <laughs> that makes sense thank you so much for joining me today malaika Thank as well. It was a yeah, pleasure. Yeah, continue enjoying the show. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, Malaika, they are trying to give her opinion. So we wind up the show. So according to the list that I was reading to you, Ghana is number one, Gabon is number two, Jamaica is number three, Haiti, 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 and Nigeria is top five. Those are the top five countries that are blessed according to scientific research. Uh, how about uh, <laughs> the ladies? <laughs> Uh, how about the ladies? Eh? Uh, the smallest ones. <laughs> the smallest one. Top five smallest one. Number one is India. <laughs> India, they are on top of the list. Uh, India, they are on top of the list. According to science. It's not according to Benjamin. And then uh, the least size of Sri Lanka is number two. Thailand is number three. Malaysia is number four. And then South Korea uh, marks uh, top five. with the smallest sizes smaller sizes small medium size if you're looking for medium size you don't want pain and the frustration number one country to go to is australia australia is uh, i can see medium size average size uh, italy is number two norway is number three mexico is number four and south africa top five medium size uh, the ones which are also very very small but not so small the ones that we can sympathize with they are almost like down down there top 5 smallest size but medium small they're just medium medium united states of america is there number 1 medium just just very small but medium small just small small but very medium size america is number 1 france is number 2 germany is number 3 the uk united kingdom is number 4 and then spain 
is number five. If your country is not on this list, <laughs> if your country is not mentioned in this uh, research, don't go and praise yourself on inbox of a woman how you are a very, <laughs> very big, strong, energetic man. Eh? Do not do that. Eh? Don't praise yourself <laughs> on inbox. <laughs> praise yourself after meeting a lady and sleeping with her. Please, please. <laughs> there are very many men who praise themselves on inbox. Please, please tell them, praise yourself after sex. Praise yourself after sex. Hmm? Strictly let your woman or the women praise you. Do not praise yourself. Do not talk about your size. You shouldn't sit down and say that from my community, in my country, and in my tribe, we are blessed. Blessed according to who? <laughs> according to science, you are not blessed. Wait for the woman to bless you, your wife, to talk very good things about. How about the ladies? Uh, for the ladies, the list, unfortunately, is not available online. Uh, so, obviously, I cannot be able to disclose. <laughs> uh, there are rumors about Asian women. And, you know, this is one of the myths about sex and Asian women. The Thailands, the Thai, the Filipinos, the Japanese and South Koreans. And it started because of the Americans who are army uh based in these countries and uh, most of them forced these ladies into prostitution and sex so people grew up like you grow up in your country thinking that certain people from your home country or your tribe are blessed and they are very good in bed so this thing has been developed to enter into our minds and most people believe that the ladies from asian community have a very tight vagina but this is a fallacy this is a myth this is something that uh, was just created and uh, it was born out of prostitution forcing young ladies under the age of 15 to have sex and then everyone believed that these people are like that but that's not the truth and i can tell you that is not the truth so do not believe in that let us stick to the truth. As most ladies said, yes, your vagina size may increase or decrease. But also, as you are saying, that the men who are blessed, they know how to use it. You too. I will invite a sex therapist to come and talk about how to make your vagina, if you feel that your vagina is not as tight as you wanted it to be, to satisfy your man. There are professional sex therapists who can train you on how to make it tighter and uh, have an, uh, an amazing sex because at the end of the day you want to make your man enjoy and you too to enjoy there are specific ways and practices that can be done practically to help you to attain that but otherwise let's just enjoy <laughs> as one of the guests say let's just enjoy let's just enjoy uh focus on your partner don't begin moving around left, right, and center looking for another person to get you satisfied. It's not going to help you. It will bring more problems into your life, into your relationship. And I don't want you to do that. I don't want to mislead you. And I don't want you to have an excuse to walk away from your relationship or your marriage uh, simply because of this thing called size. At the end of the day, sex is something that you learn you take time you take time practice makes perfect you don't need to sleep with 200 people or uh, 10 10,000 people you can sleep with one person but if both of you are willing to learn i know that if a man and a woman is they are willing to learn and accept their weaknesses their body sizes and this topic that we are talking about they will have an amazing sex accept to learn don't act like a professional <laughs> sex expert when you are with your partner accept to be corrected 
this is this is your this is your life this is everything somebody say that sex is the most important thing in marriage one of the guests so if two people cannot sit down and agree and begin to learn and accept their faults then this discussion will not make sense it will just be a Wednesday raw sex talk and it will not be helping any man or any woman who is watching this so please do something learn learn on how to have an amazing sex thank you so much for joining me those who share this video thank you those who join us guests i want to say thank you so much and if you watch for the first time i hope you liked and learned something please remember to follow this page and also subscribe to our youtube channel i hope to see you again in the next uh, wednesday raw sex talk as i have been talking about i have a guest uh, I, i have um i have some message about uh, one of my friends who is Gina Mwigai, helping people to get a better job in Canada and also in the US. If you're in Canada and also you're in US and you're watching this video, I want to pass this message to you. It's not always about sex. Wednesday is about sex, but I care for you. If you live in Canada or in the US, I care for you. I want you to get a better job. I want you to make more money and more importantly, I want you to enjoy what you're doing. So if you live in the US or in Canada, I want you to look at the comments right now. I'm going to be posting this link here. Gina Mwigai, who is a career advisor based in Minnesota in the US, she's helping many people, especially the immigrants, on how to get a better job. And that's why I care for you. If you have a friend or a family member who lives in Canada or in the US, and even though they are working there, sometimes somebody might give them some knowledge to get a better paying job which is really 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 important getting a better job means better sex i don't know getting a better job means better sex you have more energy to rest and you have more time to focus on your partner or your spouse to continue enjoying and having sex so click on this link here right now that i'm posting there on the comment section i'm going to be putting it on the screen there you can see this training is online it's going to be carried out this coming saturday by Gina Mugai online so if you are in canada or in the us register using that link right now and if you don't see the link send me a message and tell me benjamin i need that link i want to register and get the training on how to get that better job in america or in canada so let me check uh three days left if you can see on the screen right now before i go i want you to look at the screen what do you see on the screen right now uh look at the screen um these are the the, the number of the days left before you register and start to have that training this is jinamoy guy a career advisor the the training will be this coming saturday the 17th april 2021 from 8 p.m uh, eastern time there are only three days left uh, and four hours you can click here to register the link i've already posted it there on the comment section register for this training and get a better job three secrets on landing to a better job free dream career masterclass by jina mwigai i care for you and i want you to go for this training the many people who have been joining this training since i started talking about it the last two months they are benefiting and i don't want you to be left out so if you live in canada or in the us please go and register for this class right now and get that training so thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for keeping me company i hope to see you again next wednesday i wish you a beautiful afternoon if you're in the us or in canada if you are in africa or the middle east i wish you a good night and if you're in asia like me i wish you a good morning thank you for your support thank you for watching this show and above all thank you for keeping me company from the beginning up to the end see you and god bless enjoy the rest of your day or your night i will see you again and take care stay away from corona goodbye everyone and god bless